how dung is being preserved and transformed into a biological gas as a useful source of energy for households. The leftover axis can be used to nourish fertilizer, trees or plants. The idea of producing a biological nourishing fertilizer came from a community of cow farmers in Phuket. They studied the development process and used jars to preserve gas inside. The procedure is quite simple. Starting from filling 30 kg of cow dung into a 2,000 liters capacity jar, then mixing it with water equivalent to the cow dung amount, and then burying it underground. They leave it for 25 to 30 days and by so doing, it will cause a chemical reaction. Once the gas is ready, it is transferred through a pipe, which then transfers to cooking stoves in households for cooking purposes. Maitri Chiwatanakon, animal scientist, told us more. We use a jar as a container, and it is also not expensive. The investment cost is less than 10,000 baht. The natural gas from the excrement causes global warming, but if we make the use of it by turning it into biological gas, then we can help reduce the global warming effect. Biological gas that is created by preserving cow dung is also made into substitute gas used for motorcycles, as we showed on Andaman News last year. Chayawut Silapa Samosan, agriculturist and member of a cow farmer's group, has transformed the gas and motorbike carburetor to acquire fuel or power from cow dung to help reduce household expenses by 6,000 baht per month. Chayawut Silapa Samosan, an agriculturist from the cow farmer, explained more. Every morning, my family and I will come in to drink coffee that is produced by the cooking gas from cow dung. I also use the cow dung biological gas for my motorcycle. It helps save 4,000 to 5,000 baht a month. By using biological gas as an energy replacement, not only shows a new tactic idea of saving costs, but also follows His Majesty the King's footpath in living a sustainable lifestyle by using raw materials to build a better quality of product and gain full advantage from it. This is Senisha reporting for Andaman News.